my love for Godzilla started whenever I was probably about six or seven years old. The Showa era Godzillas, like the ones from the late 60s, early 70s. I remember we were playing on like daytime television and uh, you know, and as a kid it was just, it, it impressed upon me in a big way because I already loved like dinosaurs and things like that. But like the thing I liked about Godzilla and Mothra and all those characters is that, um, is that they were real characters. And so uh, those sequences in the original uh, Godzilla movies, you know, where you're really just with the monsters and they have their own dynamics really spoke to me a lot as a kid. 僕の子供の頃は野球中継があの雨で中止になると、ゴジラの映画をやってたんですよ。で、あの、雨傘番組って言われてたんですけど、その頃はだから本当に父親は野球がすごい好きだったんで、晴れろ晴れろと思ってる
shot where you show the scales and they're popping up, which I thought was such a brilliant idea. It's kind of like a gun cocking or something, but I thought that was a really, really amazing sequence, especially for something that, you know, after 30-something Godzilla movies, you would think that there wouldn't be a, a fresh way to show off Godzilla using his atomic breath, and uh, you managed to pull it off somehow, it, which is impressive, too, because Shin Godzilla, I thought, had uh, the second best version of that up until now, which was whenever he's, you know, firing his beam into the ground and it's firing out. So kudos to you there. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for coming out. It's been a real pleasure meeting you. So, uh. <laughs> はい、あのすごく楽しい楽しい時間でした。いろんなことをあのすごく考えてるっていうことは伝わってきたし。<laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> <Good. Yeah. laughs> <Hey. laughs> Give me a hug. <laughs>